What's up guys? It's Wugle with Wugles Outdoors. Collabing today. This is the video I told you guys to watch out for. Uh, we got Rogue up here with Mass Tactical. What's going on guys? Do a shout out there. MassTactical.com. Go check them out and check out the Facebook group. Just master all survival knowledge. Let me figure out how to get around this with the camera. Packing in the Kelty Tioga today. It's a, it's a good size pack, but I'm testing it out. See what kind of pressure points it has. How well it does on the steep terrain. That kind of thing. Excited to test it out for sure though. Let's get to hiking. To the other side. So. What's the goal for today, Rogue? What are we doing out uh, here? Just going out and uh, scouting some training sites. I'm going to go further, further out into a location that I went to a couple weeks ago, just to kind of see what it's about, uh, see what the resources are, see if it might be a good place to train in the future. Uh, but just overall, just gathering some intel. Got this last week. Uh, so there's a river in front of us, and supposedly there's a bridge up here somewhere that we're going to try to cross over, but. We got a ton of stuff to navigate through here because this is definitely not on a trail. And it goes to show that the Kelsey Tiger may be an external frame, but it's pushing through this stuff pretty good, so I like it. I'm packing a little heavy for today because I want to see how well it performs. It's only uh, 28 pounds, and that's all my gear for four days with an extra day's worth of food supply. Let's find this bridge. That's the bridge we gotta cross. And that little thing dangling from it is a huge piece of the bridge that's falling apart. I think it's beautiful. This is beautiful, guys. Love it. Rogue up here owns the Mass Tactical uh, page and the company itself. We're doing some uh, collab work. And he took us up here today to show us this place. And I'm pretty glad we came here. It's a pretty badass place. It wasn't deep enough. <laughs> this is his little lean to he built. He's really smart about doing one thing a lot of people mess up on with lean tos is they want to build this roof that it just kind of caves down more instead of being straight down like that and that'll actually protect you from the rain if he had better coverage on it but a lean to is not necessarily just for covering you from the rain it's also from wind and other things as well that's why it goes more of an angle than that yeah, he did really good on this i like his bed how he did the raised bed idea pretty sick yeah it's, it was a lot flatter at the time it's yeah. a lot now. looks pretty good i like it people don't understand that it's steeper the roof the well, better it's going to shed water yeah well one thing i don't i don't like about this area is it's really hard to find covering for these things because right. we don't have a lot of spruce around here mm -hmm. but if you find uh i want to say it's beach or something like that they got the big old leaves you can use those but yeah. it takes so much yeah around here you've got a compile up a bunch of stuff to, yeah, to really debris. get the kind of coverage that you want. It's a debris hut by the end of the day. Right there's the bridge mm -hmm. we scaled in. We're coming up this ravine right now. Up in here somewhere. He's really big on printing off your maps and I didn't used to be that way. I used to be relying on my phone with the GPS but uh once I kayak the Clinch River, I realized that my GPS is no longer efficient without data. So, topographical land navigation experience and knowledge is excellent for being out here. This is a lot of uphill. Definitely a good day to test out this backpack. So far, I'm loving it. The only thing sore is my legs and my lungs. This is a bucket. Keep hiking. It's uh, just like a little nut that's in there. I'm not sure if they're edible or not, but I do know that shamans like indians and stuff believe that these ward off evil spirits it's kind of cool little knowledge to know there but i'm gonna take them and make a little necklace with them so these sog pants i have are not very great uh these are the teflon treated ones i do not advise hiking in them they're not very flexible bendable and they, they cause a lot of rash abrasions use the lightweight uh flexible material but they're okay for a pinch Thank you. 
shoulder training exercises. I went on to do a little tactical knee slide down. <laughs> yeah, I have some, have some knee pads on for that. This is pretty cool though. Uh, we're heading back down to the river. Austin decided to ski down. <laughs> I'm excited to do this in my pack. Teflon treated pants come in handy when it comes to dirt like this. I know, puppy. What's going on, guys? Rogue and Mass Tactical out here with the Badlands Camp Axe today. This is actually the prototype, so it doesn't have our branding on it. We're just uh, getting in some more use with it. Can't say enough good things about this axe. It's made by Paps Customs in Poland, exclusively for us. It's a uh, hand carved hand forged axe you got a oxidized layer on the side here hickory handle and uh it really just doesn't get any nicer and functional as this axe it's a perfect size for a good camp axe so uh we got one left in the store at this moment but we got some more on the way check it out in the store this is the med rx big 100 colossal protein bar you can pick them up for you know like three for five bucks or a couple bucks a piece at uh, any of your local grocery stores they got 410 calories 26 grams of sugar and about 32 grams of protein so these are a good alternative uh, food source for a lightweight option for your packs good meal like in the middle of the day yeah. kind of thing great alternative option so uh, i hope free up some, some space for packs and pick some of these up damn that's loud 22 yeah no it's because we're under the bridge fucking, yeah <laughs> it's because of our it's little Here's your DIY. Alright guys, it's been Woogle. Rogue. Crabtree. With Woogle's Outdoors. Mass nice Tactical. Definitely go check it out, man. And uh, you didn't introduce yourself, little guy. <laughs> this is Onyx. <laughs> Survival buddy. Little dude. Uh, definitely go like, subscribe, and comment, and check out Mass Tactical. Go check out the Facebook page, uh, Master All Survival, or Master All Survival Knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mask. And uh, go give it a... Go join the group. Got all kinds of great stuff in there.